Okay, so we're back home now. A couple of days since recovered from a very long eight hour dig. And we had some good finds. Um, welcome to our roundup. Back now from our mammoth eight hour dig on Monday. Um, we found quite a lot of lead items and a few coins, no decimal coins this time. Their path isn't that well used. Um, the other path I was on, there was a lot of dog walkers and people around, but this path I only saw one jogger all day. So let's have a let's have a run through. So George V, half penny, nineteen seventeen, got a bit of acne. George the Fifth again. Penny, 1914. And then we had some Victorias. So we have a veil head towards the end of her reign, 1900. Then we have a Victoria bun head wet them it's easier to see from 1867 and then the biggest disappointment that you could ever imagine is to find a hammered coin that you can get almost nothing from um, I'm presuming that that's a head looking at us as is you can see that there is a letter O, sort of nine o'clock, and could be a crown up above, and then the the face for ages. I was trying to have it round more this way as a face, but you don't really get faces looking like that. It's my knowledge on on hammers. The back is just as bad. There's almost nothing there. A little bit through the middle you can see something. Even trying to pick out the cross is almost impossible. So I don't know if this is a bigger coin that's really heavily clipped. Because there is a line across there which could be part of the cross. But that's not in the middle of the coin. Always do that. That's not in the middle of the coin, so it could be very heavily clipped. Just don't know. Love to know at least what monarch that is. So if anybody's got any bright ideas, please put them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. But it's a uh, hammer coin, and it's. The second one in as many visits, so really bodes well for hopefully finding something that is more readable than that. No, wait, stop, stop, stop. Got it all wrong. This isn't a hammered coin. This is a William the Third silver sixpence that's been bent, although flattened out a bit in the ground two ways. As a love token, you can see the crease there where it went this way, and there where it went this way, where it would have been S shaped. So, thank you for the ID from some of the soil searchers on Facebook that put me right very quickly. Um, the face is not there, it is oh, around a bit more there. Here's his face looking to the right. What I thought was an O is a D. Um, and on the back, the line through the middle is just the edge of the shields. So a silver sixpence. Carry on. We did have one other coin. Um, I can't get anything off of this. I'm going to save up four or five of these 
um, the next few digs and then we're going to try and tumble them and at least try and just get a monarch or a date even off of these. I mean, they're worthless as is. So can't can't devalue them. And they're not telling me anything as they are. So we'll play with that one another time. Lead items. This I thought was more than just a washer. I thought I could see a K lettering on the side, but it was just scratches and marks, so load of nothing really. We had two musket balls, one much, much whiter than the other one, but that one's hit something or has had a chunk taken out of it in the ground. And the other one that we found I thought was some sort of little weight at the time because I thought I could see a, a number in there but I think that's just where it hits something so I'm pretty sure that that's a musket ball being that it's round backed um, so an impacted musket ball we had some bag seals which is always nice this one, it's hard to get much off of this one. It could be cotton, it could be fabric, seals. Um, not much on that one. This one is probably the best. It's a little bit, oh, she's got a nice little design in the middle of it. F yeah, wit you know and there's a Z in the word on the back so this is probably not necessarily but probably European so nice I like back seals nice to find The other one, you can't get much on it. This one's been whacked on purpose to seal it. And in the bit they've whacked, it's taken down the A from the word above. I'm assuming that it's done both sides and that's been crimped on purpose. Seems odd because that's where you'd expect the uh, fastener to have gone through. Anyway, nice. There are two older lead pieces, some sort of lead token. I'm not sure if that's HR or HB. It's. Uh, Difficult to tell, but definitely got some age to it, which is really cool. And my favourite one, the cross with the pellets, single pellet in each segment, nothing on the back, all of it knocked around. Uh, that's a good old find. Love that. And this, I said, was a coin when I found it because it was so gungy. Just didn't, couldn't even feel the, the shank through all the clay and having the gloves on. But clearly that's a tone rack, tom rack, pewter button. Uh, the first button and the only button in 16 hours on the farm usually buttons are all over the place uh, but not there for some reason so the only one 
mm, the buckle. This is the best buckle I've ever found. Um, I was hoping it was just all clay in the middle, and when I washed it out, it was iron corrosion from the the bar and the pin, which is a shame. That's all sort of locked in place there. You can almost see the pin coming out there. Which seems a bit odd that it's on the back. This has got punched through. But that has got really lovely circular design. Absolutely love that. So that's been reported to the flow. She's already come back and said it's 17th, 18th century shoe buckle. And she will get that in due course. When her office is open again, but uh, Diddy, love it. Our pen knife that we found, sort of faux tortoiseshell look handle, um, as we thought the blades, iron blades are absolutely corroded, fattened up to nothing but it's, it's, uh, it's a pen knife these I don't know what they are I've got a feeling they're tags from ear tags from uh, cows but I don't know if anyone knows then I'd uh, be nice to find out Sort of as SW10, not sure, but then this one seems to almost be the same. Whether the number was on this piece, which I haven't actually just bent back, but I don't know if anyone knows what they are, then I'd be interested to find out. We did find some other buckles, which I think are just general horse tack buckles of no great age you always find plenty of buckles this one's fairly corroded so, a few of those these two studs that are in two separate holes about 20 feet apart presumably they've come from the same same item that's ended up in the field and this little doodad which I don't know what it is it's well machined it's got a bit slot for a screwdriver and a nutty whirly grippy bit and a loop to suspend it but I've no idea what it is if anybody knows what that is then let me know so that's it thank you for uh, sticking with it and we'll see you when we get out again hopefully in week 10 days take care everybody bye bye <laughs>